Welcome back to Morning Mix. It's been a Masters Week tradition. Drive for show, rock for dough, returning to the Evanstown Center Park on Tuesday, April 9th, celebrating 20 years of supporting the First Tee of Augusta. Jill Brown is Executive Director of the First Tee of Augusta, and she joins us this morning. Thanks for having, thanks for being here, Jill. Sure, thank you for having me. For those that may not be familiar with the event, tell us a little bit about First Tee. So First Tee is a nonprofit organization that simply teaches positive life skills through the game of golf. And here in Augusta, that seems like just a natural fit. We have our own six hole golf course. It's a great place for kids and families to hang out. And uh, we have a curriculum that teaches kids things like um, courtesy, confidence, respect, responsibility, honesty, and integrity. And so we're really proud to have been in this community since 2001. And so um, just exciting to see young people come through, whether their parents enroll them or they come through our school programs. Um, so a lot of lives have been touched through the program and positively impacted. Um, speaking of the enrollment and yeah. uh, the school, the school participation here, what is the process if somebody would like to be involved with First Tee? Sure. So our website is firstteeaugusta.org. And uh, parents would go on there or guardians and look for the register button. And we do four eight-week seasons per year. Classes meet once a week, and it only costs $125. And you get a full membership at First Tee, so the kids can come out and practice. They can play a round of golf for a dollar, and they can hit range balls for a dollar. And so you can't buy a candy bar no, <laughs> for a sure dollar can't. anymore. And so uh, we provide clubs if the kids don't have them. And so it's just a great opportunity for them to um, come out and learn about themselves, learn to interact with their peers in the community, and learn a wonderful game of golf. Now, all of the proceeds from Rockford Doe go to First Tee of Augusta. Yes. So let's talk about what does that look like? Where are the funds going? Yes. So um, the infrastructure for First Tee is, is pretty heavy. You know, we have a golf course. In order to teach the sport, we wish we could maybe do it in a grassy field, but it is a grassy field of sorts, but a really nice one, right? And so to maintain a golf course, staff, coaches, um, that costs. And so we're very fortunate that we have an event that brings folks to town and we just want to capitalize on that. And so that's what Rockford Doe has done for 20 years. And so uh, we're very excited about that. It really just goes to pay the, um, the cost of doing the pro conducting the program. Um, and we offer fee on? scholarships for kids. So the $125 that it costs is not really what it costs us. It's just what we charge. So it really does offset the cost so we can keep things very affordable. Uh, and it is going to be a big event. We were talking about that first to Augusta.org. If mm -hmm. you want your tickets and uh, the lineup is going to be great for Rock for Doe this year as well. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. But Jill, let's talk about you've been doing this again for so many years. Mm -hmm. You've seen the results from the kids yes. firsthand yes. about this type of interaction yes. with this game. What's that like? So it's amazing, you know, I've been there 21 years. And so to have young people come back and now they're adults, they're contributing to society in a positive way, they're married, they've got kids, um, and they're coming back and telling you about lessons that they've learned and memories that they've shared at First Tee, and they're still in contact with their friends. And our most recent is uh, Edgar Evans is one of our students. He's now the head men's golf coach at Morehouse College. And so we're super excited about that. And so um, just to see, he has grown up to be a wonderful young man, and I think he's going to be an excellent coach for Morehouse College and a great role model for his team. And so that is our um, most recent success that I like to share. Um, I'm just really proud of him and the young man that he's become. I wish I could take all of the credit. I probably can't <laughs> take it all. But um, just one example of how I think just engaging young people in the community can really go far beyond um, you know, our local, the, the local impact. And people have the opportunity to play a part in that if they just show up to Rock for Doe. That's correct. So how can they get those tickets and when do they go on sale? Yes, so rockfordoe.com and they are on sale now. They can be purchased online and we have VIP tables uh, as well. And so we invite everyone to come out in the community, uh, whether you know the artists or not, whether you're a country music fan or not, we invite you to come out because it's really an investment in all of the young people in our community. And uh, go ahead and get your tickets now because they will be a little bit more the day of the show. That's correct. <laughs> Rockfordo.com, all the information there. Cole Swindell, yes. Randy Hauser, Black Dog, Taylor Reeves, and so many more. Uh, Jill, thanks so much for joining Thank us you. here and giving us some more information. And remember, uh, firsttaugusta.org first Yes, is where you go to get the information for the organization. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.